Welcome to Nashville. Good morning, my name is Josephine Mazza. And I'm Joseph Piller. We are here on location in Nashville, Tennessee, the music capital of the world for the Student Television Network Convention. Joseph, it is a beautiful day here in Nashville, but let's see what Josh has to say about the weather for the rest of the convention. Thanks guys, good morning Nashville. Let's always anytime and see what weather Nashville has to offer. Starting off strong, Thursday is absolutely gorgeous with crystal clear skies of a high of 69 and a low of 44. Friday we'll be seeing some clouds with on and off showers with a high of 65 and a low of 57. Let's hope Saturday will be better. Saturday there will be a couple of morning showers. Thankfully it should clear up throughout the day so we can enjoy a high of 76 and a low of 45. Finally, Sunday will be closing out STN with a mostly cloudy day of a high of 68 and a low of 51. Overall, it's a great week to enjoy the rhythms of Nashville. That's all for weather. Remember to feel the rhythm. Thanks, Josh, for that wonderful weather update. Well, while on the topic of temperature, let's head over to Flaming News with Ian Holnick. My name is Ian Holnick and I am reporting for 909 Live at the Bicentennial Park in Nashville, Tennessee. This is Flaming News. Today I am going to be talking about the mayor resignation, a new park being built in Nashville, and a mass transit system being installed in Nashville. I think that uh, the misuse of public funds, you know, was uh, obviously a misdeed, but uh, I don't, I'm not quite sure that it warranted her resignation. What do you think about the new park that David Riley has proposed that is based on African American culture? I have never heard of it before, but it sounds really interesting. I would love to check it out. What do you think about the new mass transit system in Nashville? I think it's good if it needs to be tweaked, though. I'm Ian Holnick. This is Flaming News from 909 Live at STN 2018, signing off. That was some hot news, but now I think we should get even hotter with Dylan Corbin over at Hattie B's. Wow, things are really heating up in here. Dylan? Thanks guys, I'm Dylan Corbin and I'm here in Nashville for STN 2018 and I'm at Hattie B's. Hattie B's, one of the most essential places to visit while inside of Nashville, was originally opened in 2012 by father and son Nick Bishop and Nick Bishop Jr. Even though they are a newcomer to the already prevalent hot chicken scene, which originated in Nashville, they're making a big splash in the industry with a larger variety in their menu, a very fun and lively vibe, and some crazy hot chicken. All right, now we are here with Stevie Jimenez and Marcos Gonzalez, and they're gonna be trying Hattie B's world famous damn hot chicken tenders. Are you guys ready? Yeah, this is the most ready I'll ever be. Most ready I'll ever be? And what about you? I was born ready for You're hot chicken. Born ready for hot chicken. All right. So we're going to get you guys started. We're going to get a little bite. But while you guys are eating, I'm going to ask you guys trivia questions about the great city of Nashville. How's that sound? All right. Good. Perfect. Sounds good? Yep. All right. So if you guys want to take your first bite, and then we'll get right into the questions. All right. So Nashville was given a nickname during the late 1800s. What was that nickname? Uh, I guess the warehouse state? Warehouse state. I asked you about Nashville, the city, but okay. Railroad Central. Railroad Central. All right, well, you yeah. guys are both wrong. It is actually the Athens of the South. So if you guys want to take another bite. Can I get more water? Who can give me more water? There are over 30 colleges in the state of Tennessee. Which was the first one created for free slaves? I'm going to guess Belmont. Belmont? What about you? In the state of Tennessee? In the state of Tennessee. I do not know. Not know? No. All right, it's actually Fisk University. Fisk. Fisk University. How are you guys feeling right now? You guys doing okay? Doing great, not so good. Not so good. So as you guys know, there are 95 time capsules inside Bicentennial Park. So inside the one for Davidson County, what famous candy is found inside of it? I'm gonna have to go with the Goo Goos. The Goo Goos? Well, you see. Uh, you stole my answer. You can say the same <laughs> answer if you want. I'll say Goo Goos, yeah. You say the Goo Goos? All right, well, you guys are both correct, so. All right. Finally, you guys know anything about Nashville. Last question. Do you guys feel the beat? I feel the beat and I feel the heat. For 909 Live, I'm Dylan Corbin, signing off.
Thank you, Dylan. And just so you know, they are okay. The chicken was just a little too hot for their liking. And after some hot chicken at Hattie B's, head over to Google's for some sweet candy to cool down. We'll see you after this quick commercial break. Here is 1912. Woodrow Wilson has been elected, the Titanic has sunk, and the first Goo Goo cluster has been created. Fast forward about 100 years, the Goo Goo shop is here, and better than ever. My experience at the Goo Goo candy shop was great. I love Goo Goo clusters, and I can't wait to come back here and get some more. Come down to Goo Goo's candy shop on 116 3rd Avenue South, Nashville, Tennessee. Or you can order online on the Goo Goo's website at www.googoo.com. Welcome back, and Joseph, if you ask me, that was a pretty sweet commercial. That's not the only thing that's sweet in Nashville. There's also some of the famous honky-tonks around the area. Let's go over to Chris at one of them now. Hey everyone, I'm Chris Ferrara here in the Music City Capital World, Nashville, Tennessee, where they got good drinks, good food, and good music. And where can you find them all in one spot? A honky-tonk. So let's go check one out. Hi everyone, I'm here with... Don. And Don, how long have you lived here in Nashville? About five months. And how is the life here? Life is very fun. It's a fast-paced city. It's growing so big. And I get to listen to live music all day. And how is it like working in this honky-tonk? It's, like I said, a lot of fun. Live music all day. Can't complain. And who's your favorite band that comes around here? Um, I would have to say my favorite band is Casey Jamerson. But they're all very good. All right, hey, everyone. I'm here with... Carly Tuft. And... Ian McConnell. All right, and how long have you guys been performing here in Nashville? I've been here for about three years. Ten months. Ten months, wow. Uh, so how is life here in Nashville? It's, uh, it's great. I mean, just uh, working away, writing music, and performing a bunch. It's just a never-ending cycle, which is awesome. It's just music 24-7. So why did you choose to come to Nashville out of all other cities? Well, Nashville is really based all about the songwriting. And for me, as a songwriter, that's... That's my number one priority, my number one goal is to write the best song that connects with people and just makes a positive uh, impact on others. Couldn't have said it better myself. All right. Thank you guys so much, you're a big help. We're at a crazy time here at the Crazy Town Honky Tonk here in Nashville, Tennessee, the music city of the world. I'm Chris Ferrara and back to you. Thanks Chris. Now Joseph, try saying Honky Tonk six times fast. I don't think we're going to have time for that. That's all we have for you this morning. I'm Joseph Filler. And I'm Josephine Mazza. This is the 909 Live. And remember, we got the beat. <laughs> 